Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. Some great news for Canon users and Mac users alike. You can now turn your camera into a webcam using the USB-C Type 3 cable that comes with your camera. This will work on the latest generation of Canon cameras, including the Canon EOS R, and there's a list of other compatible cams, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below. And I'll also place it on screen at a certain point. If you are unsure about whether your camera is gonna work, make sure you check out that link before you go to the trouble trying to get this software to work. But certainly if you've got a latest generation camera, such as the Canon EOS R, it's a great piece of software. Now, about a month ago, I produced a video where I demonstrated that utility on the Windows platform. It came out earlier for Windows users and I had some great success there getting it to work with OBS, Open Broadcast Studio, which is a very popular streaming software which you can also download for free that enables you to create live streams for Facebook, YouTube, and even Twitch and Mixer. So if you are doing that kind of streaming, it's a great way to do it. Keep in mind there are some limitations here. I got it to work with Skype as well on the Windows platform, but I wasn't able to get it to work with Zoom. I discovered very quickly that Zoom have some kind of restriction on virtual webcams. They tend to prefer the physical HDMI connection, which requires a HDMI capture card, such as one of the Elgato capture cards. So unfortunately it doesn't work with everything, but certainly the fact that it works with OBS and Skype is a really good thing. And I can confirm that it's been tested and working on the Windows platform. Now, when I downloaded it and tested it for my Mac setup, unfortunately I didn't get consistent results. I got it to work with Skype initially, then after a few restarts, it stopped working and I was never able to get it to work with OBS from the beginning. And that's probably because I have updated to the latest version of OBS and the latest version of Mac OS X, which came out soon after the webcam utility beta. So Canon are gonna to have to play some catch up here and update that utility till we get to the point where it's compatible with all the latest versions of the software. Now it is a beta version, so it is gonna have these problems for the next few months until we get that final release. But if you are willing to give it a go, go ahead and head over to the Canon website. I'll leave a link to where you can get it in the description box below. Download it and test it and you might be lucky and it could work with your current versions of software. If you are having trouble getting it to work as I did on the Mac platform, I've actually created a video on how you can do it with some alternate utilities, including Camera Live and Cam Twist and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. Hopefully this information has been useful. If you enjoyed it, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell next to subscribe so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.